Good morning. Let's get started with OS 10 and the Mac. Craig Federighi. Good morning. A major OS 10 naming crisis. And landing at OS 10, Rensho Kukamanga. We discovered OS 10, Yosemite. <laughs> translucent material, the dark, translucent material. And that translucency, beautiful translucent material, translucent material for the dock. And check out that trash can. That is a gorgeous <laughs> trash can. A dark mode. <laughs> OS 10, the best ever. Let's talk about Notification Center. And that is Notification Center. One of Johnny's custom crafted aluminum spoons. iCloud Drive. Now, okay. And they're synchronized automatically across all your Macs. And what the heck? We're throwing in Windows 2. <laughs> Mail has an elegant new Yosemite style UI, Mail Drop. And those attachments can be up to five gigs in size. So next, markup, AirDrop. Because now AirDrop works between iOS and the Mac. <laughs> Handoff. So you click it, and you can pick up finishing that message right on your Mac. SMS. Those messages don't show up on our other devices until now. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're able to do the same thing with phone calls. And you can even accept the call and use your Mac as a speakerphone. <laughs> Dre, it's been great chatting with you. Uh, I'll see you around campus. Thanks, Craig. Talk soon. All right, bye. It's a wonderful new release, Yosemite. We'll get it in the fall, and believe it or not, it will be free. They had bought an Android phone by mistake. <laughs> and then had sought a better experience, iOS 8. <laughs> iOS 8 is a giant relief. Craig? I missed you guys. Just swipe that message down, and you have access to the rest of your mail. Well, this would be a good time to demonstrate our quick delete feature, where I can drag all the way across and delete at a glance. Spotlight, quick type. Oh. It's context sensitive. For instance, in messages, if someone asks you, do you want to go for dinner or a movie? It's going to suggest dinner or a movie. Privacy, continuity. You get all the great continuity features. You can receive your messages on your iPad. And when you receive a call from someone going like this, you can pick it up right on your iPad. It's really great. So I'm going to dare a selfie here. Let's hold down the camera button. Enterprise. Now it turns out that iOS, yeah, well, they got one enterprise guy over there, I know. Now we also improve our management. Yes, the enterprise guy back there. Health. Woo. Woo. You can't get a single comprehensive picture of your health situation, but now you can with HealthKit, family sharing. You can get it not just your purchases, but the purchases of all the members of your family. We also help you perfect your photos with great new smart editing controls. So your first five gigs are free. So we have a great set of major features coming to iOS. But of course, there's always a whole lot more than I have time to talk about here. You can say, hey Siri, and start talking to Siri without having to even touch your phone. And we have song recognition with Shazam. So now, if you just start up Siri and there's a song playing around you, it'll tell you what it is. The amazing new features is make the App Store even better. We're adding top trending searches to make search even better. We're adding related searches to make it easier to find exactly the app you're looking for. We're giving the developers the capability to form app bundles. I do read your email. <laughs> this release is the biggest release since the launch of the App Store. I want to invite my colleague Superman back to the stage. This is clearly some kind of endurance training thing Tim is doing to me. <laughs> Finally, we're enabling third-party apps to define widgets that can now go in Notification Center. <laughs> and Bing is able to translate this web page right in line, third-party keyboards. Touch ID. And now, third-party apps can take advantage of Touch ID as well. <laughs> Cameras. And we've enhanced the PhotoKit API. HomeKit. 
Next, cloud kit, metal. Well, now we have metal, Xcode. We have a new programming language. The language is called Swift. You know how many people at home are going, what in the heck are these guys talking about? That's iOS 8. Thank you very much.